Well, I'm going to show you how to do the trim setting on this DIY MMMC funnel stage. This is actually built by myself in 2015. So it has got a two circuit board and inside as you can see here is for mm and the top one is for mc and it is actually a very nice sounding a phono stage it has a dc input 15 watt okay and there is a optional i put optional output RCA just in case if any new owner required RCA so you can have it here solar from this connection it has got already a built-in balanced output it's XLR connection okay. this represent mm and this represent MC okay now this phono stage has got variable input selector how you could select this actually this is here the trim setting takes place this for the right channel and here you will see two settings or left channel it was actually already set for 100 impedance input and gain set to 1000 ohms what exactly you need to have in order to set a trim the required settings remember the setting is required only for EMC cartridge MM cartridge is already it's preset it's preset to 47,000 K ohms so here you could have a digital multimeter in this case I have the digital multimeter so as you can see it is already started reading and I selected here 200 ohms so start from because we need a less than 1000 ohms here you have a 200 or 20,000 ohms but it should start the lower number okay so here and here you have right channel MC and left channel MC input so remember when you do the settings when you do the uh, trim setting for required value never ever encased the cartridge that mean I mean never connect this RCA to the cartridge because it has got a 9 volt battery inside probably you may ruin your cartridge if you doesn't so now I'm going to do the trim setting the right channel so for the right channel I've temporarily made one RCA and this goes to the right channel yeah sorry this goes to the positive and this goes to negative okay this is for the right channel and you just connect them in and I will start seeing the reading here as you can see the inputs it's already 134 yes it is already 132 34 range okay now slowly you need to turn this this one towards right to get a lower value and anti-clockwise 
to get higher values okay remember let me get these small tiny screwdriver Okay, so for that, I got the tiny precision screwdriver, and you can also use this little bigger one, but I prefer to use a smaller one. So now you can see the reading is already 141 or 140, 149 range. Okay, it varies, but now you will see here. Remember. Only these two switches to be adjusted for input impedance ohms. And this two is actually for gain. So you need to gain 1000 ohms. So this one for the 1000 ohms. Okay. So here. So now you can see here. I'm selecting right channel first. So here we go. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See here. Can you not think it is visible here? There you go. So I just did it now. Here it is. I'm slowly turning towards left. Anti-clockwise, as you can see, the numbers are increasing. See here, 160, 165, even it goes up to 171, or let's say 181. So you want to get a 200 ohms input sensitivity? Yes. So you can go up to 500, okay. But you don't need a 500, so maybe 150, 100, or 80 would be sufficient. For me, I choose 80. Okay. Now, done it. This is for right channel, just for a, a education purpose. I'm showing it to you. And here, I removed it and put them onto a left channel. As you can see, the reading is 100. 50 no 138 or 133 because i've already adjusted in a higher value in a left sorry right channel so now i'm going to give you the left channel here you can see the reading see the reading so i need a little tiny screwdriver i believe so let me use my right hand here see now see the value is increasing now is going up going up going up going up 153 see so it's going up 182 now it is going to 200 so it's 191 okay so 197, 99.7, which means, sorry, I'll just a little bit, we'll do the settings. See, I got it, 196 output. That's the correct measurement, yes. Okay. Now, the next exercise, to get the gain control, the gain, so here, in, in this screw and this one. And where you will place your multimeter. So your multimeter, I'm going to unplug. So remove this. Sorry, I made a, my multi 
meter with the, this alligator clip, okay, which will be very convenient to use it. So here, now here you got to be very careful about either the right right lead or the left lead to be connected to this point showing here an arrow mark here is an arrow mark as you can see here also an arrow mark so in gain control we are setting an arm of 800 or 1000 or maybe 1500 so doesn't apply any connection to uh, rca terminals because it doesn't have to do anything with rca uh, input it has to do something with this i don't know whether it is clear now so let me just yes now it is clear so here we have a remark here and here we have a remark this two position should be concentrated in order to get uh, to the gain settings okay now i'm going to place for example a right leg here should not touch any other resistance should be only to this okay now it's not touching anything yes not touching and the left channel the, where the arrow mark is pointing, I am connecting onto that particular area. Now, ah, here I will put 200, but now 200 will not read because we already have 1000 set already onto the right channel, gain control. So you need to change your ohms of your digital multimeter to 2000. So 2000, it started reading, see, look at this. So I'm getting 1100, but you need to wait a little bit in order to settle down the digit. So you have now, actually you have a 800, yes, because I already put 800, see, you know, 800, yes. 799 or 798 to 800. This is what I've already set for my cartridge requirement. Okay, so this is for the right channel. Now let's do the left channel. So here, again, you're turning it towards left or anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. So you get the figure changing it. See how? See here, see here, see here, see here. See here now it's eight fourteen or eight thirteen. Okay, eight fourteen I set here. Now let me show you the next left channel. It is a little bit of fun actually, breathtaking, but still. So here I put my here. Yes, here this is a point. Here there is a point. One thing you can see here. So this is a point for the, so here, this is the arrow mark for the left channel, gain input selection. And here is the other terminal, of course, should be connected to this. Either the positive, so the positive terminal of your multimeter or negative, either of them should be here and here. Okay, you got it. Now let me connect again. So in this case, I've connected here because it doesn't have polarity, polarity, so it doesn't matter. So it's already started working now. It's already started now. If you see here, so here, 838. 838, that was a previously set value for my cartridge requirement. Now, so here, 
So I am just reducing it a little bit because I need 814. So 814. So it's coming here. Now see 800. 814, yes, got it. So now I got 814 or 13, 814 for the left channel and 814 for the right channel uh, gain control. Okay, now we have done. So you can even go up to 1400, 1500, 900, any value, whatever that you want to have uh, your, you know, your system. Um, sound. If you have more sharpness, then you can reduce. You have to. You got to reduce the value. Okay. So now this is a trim setting. Okay. In the next video, I'm going to show you the power supply trim setting. I have got here the power supply transformer, which is also made by myself. It has a DC 15 volt to 34 volt. And now this works with a 220 main. So this will be very easier to change your value. The same procedure, but I'll show you in the next video. Sorry, 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 everything got fell down. My screw drive was. So now you have the uh, output. It's XLR and this is on off switch and this is a tiny LED light, uh, the MMMC. And uh, these are the power input, 15 watt, or 15 or even up to 18 you can go. And this position, this, this portion is for MM input, MM moving magnet. And this portion, then this portion is for MC. I mentioned here. Sorry, I wrote it with my pen because I didn't use any paint or anything. And this is the ground on earth. Okay. Trust me. So this is a wonderful sounding unit. And uh, the reason I do not want to use this anymore because now I've got a CAD audio preamplifier which has got a built-in the MM MC phono input. So this is no longer required for me. So I thought I will probably I will sell it if, if anybody would be interested. They can have it. Thank you for watching.